Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I thought I would share a completed baby mini album with you. This is a little boy collection and it's a baby's one year album. So it goes through the entire first 12 months of the baby's life. This was a custom ordered album and she requested for me to use the Echo Park Little Man collection. It's the first time working with this collection and I absolutely fell in love with this collection. It is so cute. I love the colors in it. So this album is eight and a quarter by seven and three quarters and the pages inside are eight by seven and a half. And I did the construction of the album out of craft cardstock. It has chipboard covers on the front cover here. And also let me mention that I did use both the physical paper collection and a digital paper collection. And I like using the digital along with a regular paper collection because then I can really make it my own, stretch it, make it, design it how I want. So for example here, I did several layers of the paper on the front and between this layer here, I did use some chipboard. So it is dimensional. I don't know how well that'll pick it up on camera. And on the front here, the paper collection came with this star border. So I added that around this here. I added this little sentiment that says little miracle and this is digital and I added the, the colors of the paper collection into this digital stamp. So that's why I like using digital along with it because I was able to add the exact same colors. Same with this little dump truck. I purchased this dump truck from online Silhouette America and I filled it in with the colors that come in the collection. I added some white Cristo Nouveau drops and then some of the stars that come in the collection. So again, I don't know how if you if you can see that that's dimensional there. On the side I added baby's first year and I popped that up. I used a few layers of heavyweight cardstock. So it has a little bit of dimension. And then I used the gorgeous star paper on the back. I love this paper from the collection. Bordered it in the red paper. So when I make a baby's first year album, I like it to be cohesive. I like it to have um, the same thing throughout. So what I did in this one is every on every left hand page, there's going to be a pocket and that's going to hold the milestone card that I designed, journaling cards and extra photos. So when you first open up the album, this is going to be the welcome page. Every single page in this album is going to have a four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mat out of craft to match the base of the album. And it's also gonna be bordered with a paper, a coordinating paper from the paper collection. And that's four and a half by six and a half. So the mom can simply place a four by six photo on this. And that's what's good about these albums is the mom is gonna be busy, so she's not gonna have a lot of time. So all she has to do is add a little bit of journaling and photos, and then she's gonna have a keepsake of the baby's first year, which goes by so fast and we always seem to forget things that have happened during it. So on this page I have this little die cut that says hello baby peeking out from the pocket here. I added this star scallop border to the edge of the pocket and then I added this beautiful sentiment it says welcome to the world little one we're so glad you're here. Added some enamel dots to it. And here is the little welcome page. It says, welcome little one, birthday, time, weight, height, hospital, and doctor. So mom can just jot down that information, add photos to the back. Everything's been matted with craft cardstock to go, to go throughout the whole album. These adorable little cutouts from the paper collection, journaling cards. Perfect to add photos to the back or quick journaling. And then like I've mentioned, the mom can add photos to the pockets as well. And then as you can see, these have been left open so she can just pop the photos right underneath them. And then every single pocket or every single page has a side pullout mat. And I designed this to give it a little scallop wonky edge. I thought it looked perfect in this baby album. And every single one has a banner on it that has a month on it. So this is for the first month. The mom can add several little photos, one large photo, or just all journaling, whatever she'd like to do. And then here's number two. I won't pull them out, but all of them are labeled like that. And also I even have the 
welcome. So the mom can add a, some more newborn photos, maybe write down the birth story, whatever is important to her. And those all are similar. They slide in on the side here. So they just peek out slightly. Every single month is labeled. So this one, as you can see here, it says one month. I have this cute little um, pocket. It says little boys are the best. I outlined that in marker. And then here's the milestone card that I designed. I love this font. It's called uh, Bang Whack, I believe it is. And then the one month, this, this comes in the digital collection. So that's why I like using both. So I was able to coordinate and add this to all the milestone cards. So here's for month one photos. Here's the cute little journaling cards that came in the collection. Cut those out and matted them. And on this side, all of these have um, a little stamp. It says place photo here. I do get asked where I got that stamp. I really don't want to give out the name of the place that I purchased it because I was not happy with them. It took, I think, several months to receive it and they didn't return any emails. I thought it, it was just lost, but I ended up getting it. But, but if you search place photo here stamp, there's lots of places, eBay, things like that, that you can find them. And this little ducky, I did uh, layer all of these with heavyweight cardstock, if I didn't mention that already, just to give them s some stability, being that the photos will be placed under it. Here is for month two, I added a white scallop border, this cute sentiment, it says I'm, I'm kind of a big deal, and I did pop this up on chipboard, so this is dimensional here on this pocket. This cute little saying up here, when I grow up I want to be a little boy. Again, the two month card this adorable journaling card. On the side here I have this little helicopter and then the little labels that say playful, awesome, and dream. And then these pages, um, some of them have been magnetized. That way once all the photos are in it kind of holds the album all together. And then three months I have this cute little tab up here. This little airplane pulling a banner that says amazing. I added some enamel dots here. This little label that says I heart toys. Here's the milestone card. This little journaling card and I used a, a little paper clip to this one. It says little man and then the same matching airplane there. On this side, this is a star border that came in it. So again, I double matted that to make it thick and then left it open so the photo can just be placed underneath. And then this here, it says so much fun. Love this paper, really cute collection. On this side, it's four months. And to the top of the paper, I added some uh, a star border that I had in some white pigment ink. Here's the milestone card. I love using paper collections. Everything is coordinated for you, so all the papers match perfectly. When you add the digital to it, you can match it. You can coordinate it perfectly. So this here I added four months, and I used the red in the collection and the same blue in the collection. So it matches perfectly with this. And I also bordered this pattern paper on some white paper to make it stand out a little bit more. On this side, I used these cute little uh, labels that came in the collection. Here is the five month and it's popped up. It's a banner. I added this adorable label and I did pop that up on some chipboard so that is dimensional there. And here's another example of using both the digital and re regular paper pack. So this is from the, the um, physical paper pack. This is a digital paper. It's the same paper. I just scaled it up quite a bit and turned it diagonal. So it looks like two different coordinating papers, but it's actually the same paper. Added some banners back here as well. Here's the milestone card for this month. And this little label, cute little journaling card. On this side, I added a little tag behind here and used some baker's twine 
tied it up at the top there, a little tab that says love this moment, and then a large label that says imagination. Here I used this white scalp border and I the same wonky white scalp border and I did two layers of it and I have the six month marker here, this label that says wonder, love this paper here. Here's the coordinating milestone card for the six months, cute little journaling cards. On this side I used a um, Polaroid frame here and I added the little label underneath that says dream big and I did add some transparency paper over it, popped it up so it is a little dimensional and I used a, a little sentiment that I had that says you are amazing. And behind the journaling card, or excuse me, the photo mat, I added this scallop label behind it and the word discover. So this is popped up on chipboard. So there is some dimension to this page here. And then here's the little Polaroid. Here is seven months up here. Super cute paper. Right here it says boy oh boy. So there's this boy who stole my heart. He calls me mom. The seven month coordinates with this paper. On this side I have the truck here, a little um, tag, and I added the word boys to it. Here is the eight month. I used that same star border and then added this sentiment that says love you little one. Love the striped paper. On this side I added some banners here. This little orange and white scallop. This looking good and again it's all left open so you can slip the photo under it. On this side I added this white border to the top here and this ticket that says boys this has been popped up on chipboard so it is dimensional here's for the nine month and then I added another um, stripe of that orange paper here on this side it says a little dirt never hurts this little truck I added some transparency to the window here and um, your or excuse me so grateful for you Let me just pull out another one here to show you. So this one would be nine and then 10 month on the back. And then here's the 10 months. This came in the digital collection, these little uh, numbers here, the stars. And then I added another scallop border to the edge of this pack here. I love this pattern paper in the back. Here's the journaling card and the milestone card. And then on this side, I added a scallop to both the top and bottom of the photo mat, the words strong, brave, happy, boys rule, this is left popped open, and this cute little dinosaur. Here's the 11 month, and I added this scallop border that's from the same paper collection, so it matches perfectly. This is obviously 11 months, love the paper. This says dream big, as you can see, and play. And on the very last is going to be the birthday month. So I added this paper, pattern paper that says happy birthday to you. Same down here as well. And this is the only page that I did slightly different instead of having the um, four by six photo mat on the right with the pocket on the left. I still have the pocket on the left so the mom can add photos. And I did add the journaling card to the pocket or the photo mat I should I should say to the um, pocket so the mom can still add her photo and the milestone card here is this adorable 4x6 journaling card this one as well and I went ahead and added a coin envelope pocket to this side that way the mom can add several photos of the first birthday party on the side here I have a little tag 
and some more of that baker's twine it says happy first birthday smile i used some large green brads that went perfect with the collection and these will not quite hold four by six photos the mom will have to cut them down slightly or she can use um four by four photos like instagram photos or three by five photos whatever she'd like so i hope you enjoyed peeking through this album i hope it gave you some inspiration and if you have any questions leave me a comment thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.